welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video. Why is that key going off for a minute? Right, Cooper's asleep, which is why I'm talking a little bit quieter. It is currently Sunday, which is family day. Tommy has had a play around with the setting, so I'm hoping, praying, keeping my fingers crossed that it fixes the problem because if you've watched our previous two vlogs you may have noticed especially the last one the sound was not the best um i think that's because when i was exporting the video someone told me to turn something down and i think that makes the quality of the sound not as great um but i had to do that to be able to upload the video otherwise i wouldn't have been able to upload the last one either so i don't know what's going on um I think it must be something to do with the camera, I must have knocked it off, something like put it on a different setting. I'm hoping it's that anyway, because Tommy's completely reset it. So let's hope this one's back to normal and we can upload it normally and the sound's normal, the quality's normal. So let's just keep everything crossed. Um, but anyways, hope you're all doing well. You will be seeing this on Sunday. So I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely week um, and sending you all the positive vibes for the week ahead as well. We are currently sat in Morrison's car park. We've actually come to, well, we're going to a place called Suaby today. We've been there a few times before. It's a bit of a drive away from us, but we went there a while ago. Um, it's basically called Suaby Park or Suaby Hall. Tommy will know. Um, but there's like a little um, farm. There's like just lovely, beautiful grounds. Like it's absolutely stunning. And then I think it like leads on to Brid Beach as well. So you can walk from Suaby Hall along the beach, I think. So that's the plan for the day. Basically, we wanted to go to a farm. Um, we were going to go to a different farm, but we were like, why don't we try that place again? Because it's a lovely walk as well. I woke him up and we're going to have to drive around. Yeah, just currently driving around because Cooper's staring a little bit and he needs to nap, so just driving around Morrison's car park. Parents out there, you'll get me. <laughs> you know the drill. Um, poor Tommy's going to be wondering where I am. And um, Basically, what I was saying was I stopped off at Morrison's on the way because we really wanted to get a parasol for the garden. Um, because obviously with it now being nicer weather, I say that it's been nicer weather for like four days, but with it being nicer weather now, um, we just thought it'll be nice we were, basically we were sat in the house last night and it was like beautiful outside and we've got a lovely garden and Keeps was playing with his toys and we were like how nice would it be um to be able to sit outside like and for Cooper to be able to like lay outside and play with his toys um instead of sat in the living room do you know what I mean so we've ordered like a big play mat thing you know like them how do you expect the foamy ones you know what I mean it should be coming soon I think we've ordered that off TikTok shop and then we wanted to get a parasol because we thought Cooper could lay on the mat with all his toys and then if we get a parasol obviously to put over him so it's shaded that would be lovely and we can sit out and have tea and we can give him his tea we can put his high chair under it and all stuff like that but Tommy's probably going to be cursing me I'm hoping he's not come out yet because anyways long story short I mean not long story short because I've told you the full long story haven't I but I saw a parasol online, um, a really nice one. It was like white, it went with our garden really well. And then my mum told me that she'd got one from Morrison's, um, which was on, well, I don't think it was on offer, my mum got it. I saw it in our local Morrison's and it was on offer, but they didn't have both of the things we needed. Basically the parasol and the base, cause you need like the weighted base um, to obviously weight it down. I hope I'm making sense here. Basically, Mum got a parasol from Morrison's, um, which was a really good one, but it is dark grey. So, it, obviously, it still goes to the garden, but the white one would have gone better. But um, the local Morrison's to us didn't have the parasol and the weight. So, we we thought, oh, on the way to Suby, we'll go to the Morrison's near there because they might have it in. Anyways, you just went in and they literally had one base and one parasol left, and it's in the sale, which is brilliant. I think the parasol was £70, the base was £35, it comes to £105 in total. So if anyone's looking for a parasol, get yourself to Morrison's because they're currently on sale. I'm sure it's a crank and tilt one, which is obviously good and it's like dark grey, we'll show you it when we put it up, so we'll probably do it today. Um, so I'm really rambling, but basically I went in, I paid for it because I didn't want it to go, got myself a meal deal because we're going to stop and like, I say I have a picnic, we're going to have a meal deal on the ground um, and then Tommy's just gone in with the receipt to get it because it's a massive two well it's a box and then a huge box and to get himself a meal deal so that's where Tom's just gone now but I mean he's taking a while so I'm not sure 
worries. I haven't even got my phone because he's took my phone because we have a more card on it. So, anyways, I'm just sat in the car because Cooper's currently napping. That was a really long-winded story, so apologies for that. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to get this parasol. And another good reason about getting it today is we don't have to wait for delivery. It sounds quite like impatient, but it's meant to be really sunny this week and it would maybe take three to five days to come, whereas we can put this up tonight. So it'd just be lovely because we can sit him in his chai chair under it, he can have his tea, like, I'm just really excited. I think it'll be lovely. We just need to wait for the map to come now. I'm not sure when that's meant to be coming. So yeah, um, oh, he's here. Hi ho, hi ho. Oh, security guards with him, be right back. Here he is. Is it gonna fit? There's the base. Oh, sorry. I had to drive round. Is it gonna fit? Because we don't have the luxury of having loads of space in the boot anymore. Apparently, we're gonna slide it through the boot. Um, but yeah, we don't have the luxury of having boot space anymore because the pram's in there. So, is this gonna work? That is the question. Yeah, you're alright. Keep going. Are oh, you alright? Is that in? Yes, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need security guards help? Well, he, he was like, oh, you're going to need a trolley. And I'm like, oh, alright, I'll, I'll take one, I'll just come back to the other. And the security guard came up and goes, ah, I'll give you a lift. Oh, he was lovely. Well, yeah. Cooper's going to wake up and be like, Ooh, what's going on? Did you see it? Did you even look at it or not? No. I was just saying to these guys, we'll probably put it up tonight, won't we, so, well. Oh, yeah, one of my own 16,000 jobs that I've got Yeah, he's got a few home. jobs to do. Anyway, I'm absolutely, I've been wounded to the heart. Yeah. Wounded. Indeed. And you've done that on purpose. You knew you were no, going in to get that. not true. You did, you not did. Not true at all. When I went in, I said to Tom, I said, do you want me to get your meal deal, or do you want to go in and get it, being positive, thinking that the parasol's going to be in there? Do you want to go in and pick your own? He's like, I'll get my own. I was like, all right. So yeah, I've gone in. Sorry, you can't be soon because the That wasn't because like I wanted to trick you out of getting a salad bowl. I'll be honest, I thought you would know that the salad bowls are in the meal deal. Anyways, um, I feel gutted because Tommy's just come out with this in his meal deal. But that's why I wanted to do my own, because I wanted to do my own salad bowl. Yeah, so you knew you were gonna get a salad bowl. Well, do you know what I mean? Well yeah I did, but I'll be honest, I thought that's what you were going for. Well, when I saw you, salad. when you came out with Rafa, I was like, so he, oh, well. she do not know about the salad <laughs> bowl. Um, so yeah, is it Subi Hall or Subi Park? It's Subi Park. So yeah, that's where we're going. Um, I'm going to stop rambling now. And sometimes we should... car shows on there as well. Oh. Remember last time we came? Yeah, like, I said we've only summer. been maybe like a couple of times, haven't we, before? Yeah, we came last summer, didn't we? I don't even know what made us come. I don't, it was a glorious day. But it's a real nice walk into into Britain. To the beach I said, yeah, I remember. Yeah, you go along the beach and it's like um there was a there was there was a massive car show, wasn't there? I think I did we come once because we had to collect something from B and Q and there wasn't you couldn't collect it from near us and the closest place I think was Brid. So we had oh, to travel. I'm sure we had to travel to come and get something. And then I think we were just having a drive and drove through sewer bay. I think that's how we found it. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling um, and we shall see you when we get there. Even better, it's actually a little zoo. It's not just a farm. I think I just remember the farm animals because you guys know that I love <laughs> farmyard animals. But um, there must be like a farm on the way around, I think. But Coops is all sun creamed up. Looking beautiful. You do look gorgeous. Can you say hello everybody? Say hello. Hello la. And the first thing as you come in, it looks pretty like a pretty decent size, really, doesn't it, to be in here? Mm. Um, yeah, there's all the way down there. But what we're looking at here, Dad? There's some birds. There's some little birds. I to tell you. Go on. Um, Chinese painted quail. Lovely. Wow. <laughs> what are they? What are they? You just think they're big dogs, don't you? <laughs> Oh McDonald's had a farm e -E And on the farm, farm he had a Ish Yeah It might sound really random and to some people quite disgusting And I know you agree Yeah, I know what you're going to say What are you going to say? The smell Yeah, I love, love the it. smell of like a farm like, Absolutely love it Stood by these pigs Like I'm just like It's just like fresh country farm Yeah not fresh, but yeah. No, it's not fresh, <laughs> but like, I really like it. Like, I love the smell you of like it. it. You like it, you country bumpkin. Say hello. 
Or you're a city guy. Can you see yourself? Oh, oh we're trying I to vlog. love vlog. So Cooper's learnt a new skill. <laughs> Is that what you think to them? <laughs> Is that what you think to them? <laughs> this is a new thing. This is a new thing. <laughs> Been doing it a couple of days, I know. <laughs> like father, like son. I mean, Cooper doesn't really have a choice. They're still looking at the parrots, and I want to be over here looking at the goats and the sheep and penguins. You know, I don't want to look at birds. Everything. Look at the colours on that bird. I know. I know. And it's like a cuddly toy and Cooper's loving it. So me and Cooper, uh, we're a man of all animals. I just, I've said this time and time again when we've been to like zoos and stuff, but birds are just not for me. We're having an owl, quite like an owl. What about a parrot? No, I'm not bothered. Well, barring the parrot showing thingy, oh, I like great. that. We have to go to a show for it to get to see a parrot. There's loads of birds. That bird show, where there's like vultures and that, and eagles. Mm, Do you not want yeah, to see I don't that? love it. Yeah, I feel like this is giving us a little taste for it What's to come? Cool. Say, Mummy, you've got to get to me. Alright, I'll get to know for you. I'll do it for you too. If, if I come to one of these places without my dad, then you need to be showing me the birds. Does it make you feel excited? Yes. Days like this? Yes. I, I can't wait. Like anyway, me yeah. too. But, like, this is saying. what it's going to be like. Even like, you'll be even more. This is be my dream to come to places like this. Do you know what? When we were walking around there, I thought this is literally like what we've dreamt of. Like, look, because we love stuff like this anyway. That's where he's taken over. The um, I'm gonna call it the safari experience, not really a safari. So good. It is, isn't it? This is like, so even like, how much is it? 11 50 for real, us each? Uh, yeah, something like that. Like, this is worth 11 50, I think. This is worth 11 50 because he was free, obviously, but just to get to know animals and things. Mm, not bother about the goats. See, we like the birds. Oh, there we go. Now we're interested. What is he doing? He's just staring at him. It was going for homes. Don't let him get too close. I think we like the goats, don't we? This is his first touch of grass. Well, it's not because he's been in garden, but. <laughs> What's that feel like, little man? <laughs> <laughs> I always think, what's it going to be like on sand? Because you get some kids who hate sand. Like, I hated sand as a kid. Did you? Yeah. I can't I remember like whether I didn't like it or not. Some bigger goats over there. This place is really good. Like so, up there you've got penguins. You've got like all farm animals, which we think we've showed you. You've got like birds. There's a bit that you can walk through. I'm not sure if that is it. I don't know. You got this mud on there, I think. There's a park there's I can see. Down there. It's really cute. Into the Subi Hall. Yeah, there's the Subi Hall, which like is a, and big step. A bit, yeah. And there's also like really lovely grounds that you can like. Gardens. There's golf things. There's and... golf. There's like giant. Um, games, and yeah, and little put in mini golf that we can play. Yeah, we'll obviously show you as we go around, but even just like this little bit's really good, especially for him. I think, do you? Yeah, so this is what we mean by like there's lovely little walks with all the trees and the gardens. The, the gardens go on forever. Obviously, it was like an old stately home. Me and Cooper just went in the old stately home, um, else topped up a tan outside. <coughs> she was on pram duties, we couldn't take it in, so she was on pram duties. We had a walk around. Safe to say, oh, hello, oh, hello. Have we gone blurry? Hang on. Whoa. Safe to say, maybe wasn't Cooper's favourite experience, not gonna lie. <laughs> we did go and see all the old rooms and the old bedrooms and stuff, which is pretty cool, but Cooper wasn't interested in the slightest. Um, but there was like old, old pots and pans, like really old, and Cooper was allowed to play with them, so oh, he was grabbing them and slinging them around, which was nice. <laughs> And then yeah, there's just all these like woodland garden walks and then little play areas like in there. Um, the grounds are just stunning, aren't they? Yeah, stunning grounds. And then there's, they, they've done like a, is it like an interactive dinosaur walk thing? Where no, you... it had like the day, it had the months and then that was February. <laughs> that was my fault. Okay, so they don't have that. Um, I saw October and it had like a Halloween thing. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so yeah, just lovely little walk around now. Yeah, like, let's look at it in front. I can't. Well, this is because I like his food. Yeah, this is like Ellie's dream. And Cooper's. Yeah, and Cooper's like, he's just, he's all over the place at the minute. And he's like, just staring at all the leaves. And you go under a tree and he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Aren't you? Are you enjoying it, Coops? 
You don't look like you are. <laughs> I feel like this would be a lovely place to get married in here. All right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. not really, not my cup of tea, really. No, it's not mine, but like I do think it would be nice. Yeah, we've just come across this little garden area. I can hear water. Yeah, there's like a little, I think that, that looks like a little maze, like for kids over there. Oh, that's really sick. Greenhouse. I can hear water, maybe like a little water little fountain. Oh, it's straight in front of us, look. Let's look up there. What's it like? That is like a little maze, that is so cute. Isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, lovely. Hey, don't you think this would be nice for a wedding, something like this down there? Yeah. Look at all the koi. Oh, look at the fish. Oh, they're fancy fish, them, Mel. They are fancy fish, them. Isn't that a big one there? Mm, worth a lot of money. You're probably getting sick of us banging on about the nice views, but I had to show you this. Like, I'm sorry. How stunning is that? <laughs> Look, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. I'm in my mouth, my eyes. Are, uh, what, slap it? Yeah. Just in my just like my voice. <laughs> like, it's just absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Like, I don't that think that. Beautiful the... tree. <laughs> I like that drapey one there. Oh, I like the drapey one? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice drapey tree, isn't it? <laughs> Which tree do you like? <laughs> No, it is just stunning. I don't feel like, like the camera's doing it justice. Yeah, Go I'm on. Bring it round. I know what you're going to say. Pandora. It looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you going to say? The tree lady. Oh. What? Pandora. Oh, a diamond in the sky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So lovely. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. So we've just got home now, and Tom is about to start putting the parasol up. It was just in the. Um, sling, sling, carrier, and yeah, Tommy's just about to start putting up so we can sit in the garden because it's all really nice. The sun has just gone behind the clouds, but I'm sure it'll be out anytime. And we can't wait, can we, Coops? We had such a lovely day today. Did you have a nice day, Tom? I had a beautiful day, it was so nice, That's and Coops so absolutely loved it like, absolutely loved it. We, um, on the way home. Oh, let me show you this. On the way, well, not on the way home, before we set off, I'm just feeding him in the car and just listen to how he was laughing. Like, I don't think he's ever laughed this much in his whole life. Like, he laughs, but not like this. Listen. Cooper, what's so funny? <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> What's up with it? What's up with it? He's laughing now. Just watch him. Let me just watch him when I play it. Cooper, what's up with it? What's up with it? I wonder if he'll laugh now because sometimes I don't know if anyone else babies think this, but you do something and it makes them absolutely howl, and then you do it again and they don't find it funny. All we were saying was, Cooper, what's up funny? Cooper. What's so funny? Cooper, what's so funny? What's See, so funny? We were literally doing that and he was howling before. I think you might have been here at Christmas a few times, like when we oh, were shopping, shopping. Like you've made a little oh appearance. <laughs> We've got a sleeping baby, and I think he's just knocked his 
toy. Anyway, we might be on a time scale because uh -huh. we don't know when it's gonna work up. Anyway, so we've just come to Costa because we've been out today. It's one of those days where it's really like muggy. It's not sunny, is it? But it's not cold. No. Well, it looks cold, but it's actually really warm and like sweaty, isn't it? And raining. Yeah, like on and off raining. No, we've been for a lovely long walk and we thought we we're gonna come to Costa just to get a nice, we wanted like a refreshing drink, didn't mm. we? And we thought, let's try something we've never tried before. What did we get? I can't remember what they were called. Which one's Something, which? This isn't the iced tea. This is the bubble iced tea. Blue, blueberry. blueberry. Blue, right, so we, on the app there was a blueberry bubble frappe. frappe. Well, that's what we thought we were ordering. Oh no, the battery's flashing. We've had to revert to the phone because the camera battery died. Ignore the burn all over my sunroof. Um, but what we were saying was that's the blueberry bubble tea. But they did have a blueberry bubble frappe. Oops, is awake. Frappe, but... I didn't say the word frappe, so they've given us that. So we're not sure what that's going to be like. And then this is an apple and rhubarb refresher. They did have straw, no, strawberry, strawberry and mint. mint. No, watermelon oh, and mint, yeah. which sounded really lovely. But we don't like the sound of the mint. We don't like a mojito, do we, no. with the mint in. Mm -hmm. So we were like, no, 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 we won't have that. So we'll try these. Which one do you want to try first? Should try this one. Yeah, let's try tea. the bubble. So this is the, we thought these would be really nice for summer, like really refreshing. No, no, they're the nice tea. I think I might have had it. You know the ones in the bottles? Oh, yeah. All right, go on. It's a peach dicey, but I've never had a bubble tea before. No, I haven't. Like, do the bubbles mend the pop? Or do you mean to eat the bubbles? Or is it just... Mm. It's nice and refreshing. That's not the refresher either, is it? <laughs> what do we think? Mm, it's nice. Let's try it. Yeah. Just to make it just taste like flat. Oh, I've got a bubble. Do you get a bubble? Mm. That reminds me of something. Yeah, but I just can't think what. And then bubbles are it weird. Mm. What does that taste like? That tastes of something, but I don't know what it is. Mm. I'm not 100% on it. I won't get it again. No, I think it's nice and refreshing, but... It just tastes like cordial, yeah. I think. That's like flat, really flat mm. cordial, weak. I know what it, oh, do you know what? This is gonna sound so silly, but I know exactly what it tastes like. A fruit tea. You know, not like mm. a green tea, a fruit tea, but it is a fruit tea. Oh, that's yeah, what it, it is. is. That's probably why I'm just like, so I don't really drink. I'll be honest, it's not nice, but if you get a bubble, that makes it a mm. bit nicer. I won't get it again. No, I, I would rate that a four out of 10. Yeah, Maybe even three. a three. Yeah. Three out of ten. Right, this one's a straw apple and rhubarb. Yeah. Oh. Sound of rhubarb. That, sweet. Uh, you like them, them I was sweets. just gonna say that tastes exactly like that um them hard boiled the rhubarb mm, and custard. Yeah. That's what that tastes like. I like that. Mm, that's nice uh, oh yeah isn't it nice that mm. that is that is refreshing yeah, that is a refresher <laughs> <laughs> that is a refresher that's what it's called but it, that is proper refreshing yeah. that 10 out of 10 would you say 10 out of 10 oh, would you go that strong mm, that rhubarb that rhubarb's beautiful it tastes exactly like those rhubarb and custard hard boiled sweets doesn't it mm. i love that that's nice it? that was so much better oh, so it does. nice it's like sweets what do you give it 8.5 mm. that's beautiful i wonder maybe we should try the watermelon and mint one just to see not right now but like another day yeah we'll, we could try it we'll try and maybe one. we should try the frappe because i think we've made a boo-boo because we don't really like fruit tea no I don't like as in you know like the hot fruit tea you can get like the um green tea but the, the fruit frappe tea. is more us as well yeah Right, well, we'll be coming back for a part two, not in today's vlog, but in another vlog. We'll come back for a part two and we'll try the frappe version. Because there was a mango one that we quite like the sound of. Mm. And then we'll try the other one of that. Yeah. But let us know in the comments if any of you've tried these or the other ones. But if you've not tried that rhubarb drink and you like those rhubarb sweets, definitely like definitely because that's like you know like if you're on a walk and you go to costa and you want a mm. nice refreshing drink or if it's a really sunny it's day a sunny day this has been perfect on monday yeah when it was sunny. warm mm. <laughs> yeah so you know earlier on in the video when i was by the way i edited that bit of the video back and i kept saying we're going to buy a parasol it's a parasol oh yeah Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. so i don't know why i kept saying a parasol but parasol so we bought a parasol a few days ago because it was so sunny now look at it now look at so the clouds. 
Ruins. Every time we meet, it's horrible, isn't it? It is. It's you, you curse me. <laughs> we have literally just got back from swimming, so just ignore the appearance, but I'm just sorting through, um, why am I so hot? Breath from just running upstairs, that's quite embarrassing. I'm just sorting through Cooper's neck size up close. I think I mentioned in the last vlog that I was getting his neck size up, which is a really awkward, well, it's not awkward, but because he's going to be in 9 to 12, probably from like September time, obviously that's going into like autumn, winter, which, oh my God, autumn, I'm so excited for. Um, but that's when we go to Florida, so he's obviously going to need some summer stuff, but he's not going to need loads of summer stuff because... It's not going to be sunny here, do you get what I mean? But I can't help myself because I've been seeing so many like cute Disney bits and I've been getting them then. Um, so I thought I could just quickly show you some of the Disney bits that I picked up for him. So firstly, I got him this little hooded towel from Matalan. How cute is that? I thought that would be perfect for Florida, but obviously you can use that at home as well. Because I don't know if anyone else can relate, and this might sound really silly, but... You know the hooded towels that you get for babies? Well, he has quite a few of those because we bought some and then we were gifted some, like my baby shower and stuff. But they're too short for him now. Like, and I don't think you can get bigger sizes, can you? Is it time to stop using the hooded towel? Like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, other Disney bits. They're not all, like, Disney themed. But I feel like they're, like, themed for the packs, if you get what I mean. So I saw this in Tesco's. It actually come with a pack of two, but this one, oh no, to be fair, both of them. It says loud lion all over and it's got pictures of lions on it. They're literally just like little rompers, but I thought these would be really cute, you know, just for the day, because it's going to be quite warm. So I thought this would just be nice and comfortable for him and it wouldn't be too hot. And it come with a pack of two. Um, so I thought they'd be cute for the day. This, I'm sure this was since, was this Sainsbury's? Yeah. Again, I thought this would be really cute for the day because it's really quite thin. This is Lion King, Lion King themed. And it comes with a little hat. So that would be good for like Animal Kingdom. This is from H&M. So this is the t-shirt. And then it comes with just these little shorts. But I thought this would be cool maybe to travel in or maybe like on an evening or if it's not as hot one day. Because obviously if it's hot, it's probably not going to be in something that thick. And then also from H&M. And the thing with these t-shirts, like I was saying in the last vlog, he can wear these when we come home. Because he can wear them with joggers and stuff when it's colder. And then these didn't come as a set, but I did pick up these shorts, which I thought he could probably wear them with as well. Right, what other Disney bits have we got? got so many bits these aren't disney related and some some of you work care so just skip ahead if you're not bothered about like a baby haul um but i bought these from primark they're in the sale for three pound pack of two little trunks now i don't really know what obviously we've never been abroad with a baby before so i don't really know like what swim attire he'll be in because like obviously when we go swimming now he wears like the full suit you know like the all-in-one but will he be too hot in that i don't know i don't know if it's like a bit of a mixture like all-in-one trunks when it's really warm I bought this because I thought this would be good. If I can find the bottoms. I don't know where the bottoms are, but basically it's like a long sleeve top and then you get the bottom. So it looks like an all in one, but then if you needed to take this off, you could. And it comes with a little hat. Um, and what I really like about these sets as well protects them from the sun, which is obviously a must. Um, on the topic of swimwear, I did buy another one, but this is an all in one. This other one. This was from Matalan. Again, protects him from the sun, from the rays. Um, I'll just show you, let me just show you. I won't show you all the new clothes, I'll just show you the bits for like Florida, like for holiday. Um, I think I've shown you this last time, but this was from Primark a while back. I thought this would be cute for like on an evening with a t-shirt underneath. And I did also get these little pack of pyjamas. He could wear them as pyjamas or he could wear them like to travel in or whenever. Um, Primark again he could sleep in there or he could wear it in the day because it's quite thin this is just like a little vest oh there's the little bottoms up to that swimsuit I was telling you about I would put you a bit lower down but I haven't really got anything to put you on so apologies if this is a really weird angle um, I got this from Matalan which again I thought would be cute in the day because it's quite like it's a waffle material it's not too thick but it's like quite light, light weight for him um, I think I actually got this off Vinted. 
again lightweight thought it'd be good for the day right let's just honestly this boy has got more clothes than me and tommy put together um what else have we got just literally just for florida he has got other bits but i won't buy with them um oh that came with the little dungaree set it's just a vest you know like to put under that dungaree i just showed you um that came with the other one i've just shown you from primark and then you know the pajama set i was just showing you the red one that also came with it so again he could wear that like i'd let he could wear that or he can wear it to bed it is pajamas but it doesn't really matter does it just another little like a romper vest thing and another one um i did buy him this i thought this would be nice for an evening when it's a bit cooler it's a bit more smarter so you get these little shorts this is from tesco how cute is that love that um i bought him just some of these vests you know like these ones with no arms because i thought if it's really warm he could literally well he could wear that or he could just wear that with some shorts um this is from tesco's again it's just that muslin material so it's quite lightweight and it came with a hat as well don't know where the hat's gone oh it's there I also got in this little set from Sainsbury's. This is maybe like, you could really wear this for like an evening. Little shorts with a top. And then it comes with a hat. I love like that most baby stuff comes with a little hat because you can never have too many hats. Speaking of hats, it's fine. Some more hats. So these are just for Florida because he will wear these obviously here now. But I got in this one from Macalan. I got in this pack of two from Macalan. I love this one. And then it comes with this little. And then we had. Oh, I have. Right, so I got this. And it comes with the cream one from Tesco. And we had these in three to six months. And they're, they're so good. So I just got them again. And then I got. There's another one of these. But I think it's in the wash. You know, the one that comes down the back. That was from Tesco. I've just washed it all, you see. Um, And then. I'm sure there are a few more bits. But I think they could be in the wash. I feel like I've definitely got more. I'll run downstairs a minute and see because I've just took stuff out from the dryer. My friend got in this from Next. How cute. I'm a bit obsessed with buying him clothes. Like, I don't know if any mums can relate to this, but I feel like when I go in a shop nowadays, I don't even look in the women's section. I don't even like go looking for myself. I just go straight to the baby's clothes. Let me know if you're the same, if you're a new mum or if you're just a mum in general, but never, ever, ever seem to go looking for myself. But then to be fair i do like to just look online for myself so that's probably why um but yeah let me just quickly run downstairs and just see because I, I have just taken another load out the tumble dry if not they must be in the wash so now is the answer it must all be in the wash but there is the matching hat that i was just on about um and one outfit which i got from tesco another little muslin one but i think like the little muslin material because it's quite like breathable and lightweight it'd be really nice for in the day um so this is lion king themed again this is from tesco all recent all within the last few weeks comes with a hat as well so yeah i feel like i'm just we're trying i think in the last vlog i was actually saying that um i feel like i had so much to do like i had a big to-do list of stuff i needed to do I'm slowly but surely ticking things off the to-do list out. We've just ordered a travel pram. I was really like umming and ahhing with the travel prams. I was like weighing them all up, like weighing all the different ones up. But I'll be really honest, I wasn't spending £300 on a travel pram. Like I would just, we just wasn't. Like it's just a lot of money to say you're only going to use it when we're travelling. And I know a lot of people tend to use them when they're at home as well. But we spent a lot of money on our pram. Do you know what I mean? Like I want to use that when I'm at home. So... Um, we've ordered a travel pram. How much was it in the end? I mean, it wasn't really cheap. I think it was maybe like 160, 70, 170 pound maybe. But you can get them for like 500, and I was not paying that. So when that comes, I'll show you it, and I'll talk about like what, like what made me buy it and what stood out to, about it to me like the reasons because there were some non-negotiables. Like I wanted it to lay down. I wanted it to be wanted it to have like a good hood you know like a like a quite big hood for when he's sleeping like stuff like that um sorry i'm all, i'm again really out of breath i need to start like running or doing some kind of fitness <laughs> um so yeah so we've got the travel pan we've just bought a travel cot um 
Cooper's Passport. We've just done Cooper's Passport. Oh my god, that should be coming so soon. You should see the picture. It is the most adorable thing ever. Mine was up for when well, it needed to be renewed because it runs out in September. So mine should be coming as well. Tommy's got another year on his. Um, what else did I need to do? I booked the airport hotel for the night before. We've actually booked. Oh, what's it called? Um, it's the one in Manchester Airport that's in the airport. I can't think what it's called, but you'll know which one I mean. It's the one that's like, you can get to it from inside Manchester Airport. We've never seen in there before, but we thought that'd be really quite convenient. So we've booked that. The Alton Towers Hotel for the second night. Sorry, if you didn't watch my last vlog, this will mean absolutely nothing, but we've booked that. Um, so yeah, we've, we've basically pretty much ticked everything off the list, which is good. I feel like a way it's been lifted you know and you've just got like a massive to-do list of like all of that kind of stuff but it's now done which is good um speaking of Alton Towers we actually go there this weekend so the next it might not be the next video well so this is a plan so we're gonna we're going to Alton Towers at the weekend and we're gonna vlog so there'll be an Alton Towers vlog come in I'm so excited to like take Cooper around the CBBS land and stuff anyway that'll be coming and we thought on the way to Alton Towers we could film an updated Q&A just do it like on the way whilst we're driving so I think the Q&A will probably be the next video and then the one after that will probably be Alton Towers because I'll be able to edit the Q&A quicker and get it up for you do you see what I mean so if you have got any questions I'm going to actually put a community post up there'll be one up when you're seeing this vlog if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go onto our YouTube profile and you'll see like a tab that says community. If you click on that, there'll be a post and you can put your comments on there, like any questions you want to ask us. Um, alternatively, just comment on this video with any questions. Yeah, we've just come back from swimming, but I knew I wanted to show you these clothes. I was meant to do it yesterday when we got back from Costa, but Tom was actually out, so I didn't really get a minute. So I thought I'd just pop on to end the vlog and to show you some of his holiday bits. Honestly, I'm so excited. Like literally, we go to Florida in July, August, September back end of september but literally it's not long at all which is it's like bittersweet because i was saying to tom like, i'm so excited to go to florida but then my return is slowly coming to an end i'm not going back to work till probably december and then i'll be off for christmas anyways but i just feel like when we go to florida it's like the countdown back to work isn't it my maternity i'm not even thinking about it let's just not even let's not even go into that at the minute i've got july august september october and i've got another five months like that's really good isn't it so i'm just soaking it all up and just enjoying every minute weather has been like this like i think when i saw you yesterday i said that it had been raining windy cloudy sunny like everywhere today is nice in fact that's what i need to do i need to go so show you the parasol though because i haven't shown you it because as I said, we put the parasol up that day and then the weather's just gone like that. So let me go downstairs now and show you that because it's actually really, really good. Um, and we also bought one of those, you know you can get those foam mats, like play mats. We bought one of those off TikTok shop. So I'll link that down below for you. And if I can't find the link to that, then I'll link a similar one um, if you want to go get one of them. But they're really, really good. So this is what the parasol looks like. One thing I will say is the base is quite big. Good, it doesn't move, any but it's good it doesn't move anywhere, which is obviously what you want but yeah it's absolutely huge and then the mat this is the mat and what i love is that it's really like it folds really really small and compact but let me show you it open it's reversible as well so you can have it this size ah oh, i didn't even realize but it shows you like centimeters so you could measure them that's cool but we tend to have it we tend to have it this way but it's absolutely massive it's huge so like i say i'll link that down below as well but it's a perfect little setup for him anyways i'm just about to gut the house you know like when you start like procrastinating and you don't want to do it but Cooper's occupied, he's playing with Tom. I just need to go around and clean the house. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and end today's video here. I really hope you've enjoyed spending a couple of days with us. As I said, the next video will be a QA and a and then it'll be the Alton Towers vlog. So if you have got any questions, then please pop them down below on the community post or, like I say, messages over on Instagram. But I really hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.